शदीद झटके हुए फिर जब झटके रुके हैं तो ऊपर देखा तो उन्हें कुछ बिल्डिंग थी कुछ भी नहीं था जिससे भी पूछो यहाँ पे क्या सूरत हाल है कौन बचा तो ये कह रहे थे कि यहाँ पे कुछ भी नहीं बचा है शाम को जिस वक्त अफ्तारी का वक्त था उस वक्त हमारे पास सताईस लाशें थी एक आदमी मर रहा था किसी ने उसकी मदद नहीं की हर हर शख्स अपने आप को जाने की कोशिश कर रहा था एट अक्टूबर 2005, for those who live to tell the tale, the memories are indelible. Nearly 75,000 people lost their lives in the earthquake that struck northern Pakistan. Many more were injured. Millions became homeless. Amidst the despair, humanity's finest hour, as Pakistanis and others from around the globe rushed to help. Among them was the United States. It's a big day in Dadar, a village in the northwest frontier province of Pakistan. A coat of plaster here, a touch of paint there, and the new building for the boys' high school is almost ready. At home, Adil can scarcely contain his excitement. I have seen a school. It's very good. There's a place to play. There's libraries and libraries. There's a place to play. There's a place to play. Adil's old school was reduced to rubble in the earthquake, and he himself barely made it to safety. زلزلے کے دن ہم انگلش پڑھ رہے تھے زور سے زمین ہلنا شروع ہو گئی اور ہم باہر گراؤنڈ میں آ گئے اور ہمارا ساتھی ایک شہید ہو گیا اور بہت بچے زخمی ہوئے ہمارا اسکول میں عادل آیا اتنا زیادہ گھبرایا ہوا تھا دو دن گھر میں کھانا شانا کچھ بھی نہیں کھایا ایسے ہی بے ہوش بے ہوش رہتے فار دا پاسٹ ایئر عادل اینڈ ہز فیلو اسٹوڈنٹس ہیو بین اٹینڈنگ کلاسز ان ٹینٹس ا نیو اسکول بلڈنگ کانٹ اریز دیئر پین but it can give them a better equipped school and a fresh start. पहले के मुकाबले में अब यहाँ पर facilities ज़्यादा हैं। आठ नए कमरे हैं, जिनमें से तीन लिबर्टियाँ हैं और एक लेब्रेरी। This is just one of many projects funded by the United States through its development agency, USAID. We don't do the work directly. We work through NGOs and private contractors, consultants. And uh, so each NGO asks for a certain amount of money and then we provide it and then they do the work in the field. For programs in the earthquake affected area, the U.S. has committed over $500 million as part of the coordinated Pakistani and international response. We had a will, but the biggest thing we had was the experience. The whole international community, which was American, was also in the area. एक्सपीरियंस ओवर दी अदर डिजास्टर्स उन्होंने जो हमें आके बताया कि ये ये तरीके से भी काम हो सकता है और आई थिंक उस वैल्यू एडिशन के साथ काम बहुत अच्छा हुआ हेल्प फ्रॉम ओवरसीज लेड बाय द यूएस बिगन अराइविंग विद इन आवर्स ऑफ द अर्थक्वेक इट वाज क्लियर दिस वाज नो ऑर्डिनरी डिजास्टर we had 3.5 million people homeless we had a himalayan winter only 30 or 40 days away so the main challenge in simple was keep the people alive until the following march we needed to keep them alive more than 5000 sorties were flown by american and pakistan army pilots to deliver 15000 tons of relief supplies to the stricken areas the biggest helicopter airlift in history for terrified people in remote mountain villages the U.S. Army Chinooks offered the first ray of hope. The first helicopter came, so these people all went up. And I can't even tell them so much. They were like a miracle. They were like a miracle. When the helicopter came, 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 ले जा सकते थे, ज़्यादा कैयुटीज को वैक्यूएट कर सकते थे, और मुश्किल से मुश्किल तरीन मौसमी हालात में भी इन जहाज़ों ने परवाज़ें की। Many of the injured received medical attention on board the helicopter itself. There was a young marine who was sitting in the restaurant. Basically, marines are taught to fight, 
and he'd spent the day um, up rescuing people and he'd found a little baby whose head was split open and so he on the helicopter took the baby sewed up the head and saved the baby's life and I had seen him just when he got off the airplane and he felt so good that he was really saving lives instead of taking lives. At three US military hospitals set up in the earthquake zone 44,000 people received medical care. In the weeks after the quake USAID helped many people construct temporary shelters. These kept families warm and safe. Zalzale mein hamare gaon ke andar bahut se log niche aa gaye the. Meri apni hala makan ke niche aa gayi thi. Aur uski wajah ye hai ki hamare upar chhat ke upar lakdi zyada wajni lakdi hoti hai aur upar mano mitti hoti hai. Lekin Jios ne hame aake kaha tha 3 foot ki deewar upar jo hai char panch lakdiyan rakh ke upar chadar dalni hai. Isliye ki usko uski chhat halki hoti hai. In Muzaffarabad the US helped camp residents get through winter with improved water and sanitation facilities. In the spring, a USAID program began to clear the mountains of debris from the streets. Well, when I got here first, I was happy to have brought my climbing boots with me because there wasn't any streets to walk on. Everywhere was just climbing over piles and piles of rocks. It's like the whole city has just reduced and everything is six foot lower. Every time you walk around the city, more ground has appeared, a new path is there, a house which was completely buried by the rubble before, now you notice that it's there. After people's emergency needs were taken care of, the focus changed to longer term rehabilitation. USAID programs begun in April helped villagers regain ways to earn a living often by learning better skills these programs employ local labor providing much needed cash to local households this project in Kahan clears link roads blocked by landslides 600 families from the villages beyond stand to benefit without it the furthest village is an 8 hour trek away ये मेरे इलाके की जरूरत है काम भी होता है हमारे इलाके का दूसरा हमें कैश भी मिलती है तो मैसन के कैश जो 400 रुपए फी दिहाड़ी है इसके बगैर हम मकानों के काम भी नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि मटेरियल हमारा नहीं पहुंचता इन सम एरियाज फुट वाइड वॉकिंग ट्रेल्स आर आल्सो बीइंग क्लियर्ड एंड वाइडेंड पहले सामान उठा के नहीं ले जा सकते थे गधे या खच्चर इन रोडों पे इन रास्तों पे नहीं चल सकते थे अब जब ये वाइड हो रहा है ऑलमोस्ट आप देख रहे हैं तीन चार फुट तक हो रहा है तो ये बहुत आसानी से दो आदमी कंधे से कंधा मिला के चल सकते हैं चरपाई उठा के जा सकते हैं मरीज के लिए और गधे खच्चर आसानी से चल सकते हैं इस पर उनको कोई दुशारी नहीं है द शिफ्टिंग ऑफ द अर्थ ऑन एथ अक्टूबर आल्सो चेंज द कोर्स ऑफ स्ट्रीम्स डैमेज्ड इरिगेशन चैनल्स वाटर रिजर्वर्स एंड पाइपलाइंस Since then, USAID projects have rehabilitated more than 160 rural water systems, bringing not only clean drinking water into homes but restoring sources of income as well. Rustam Khan is a miller in Kalandar Kas village. His mill is powered by water from a mountain stream. People from the village bring him sacks of corn to grind in return for a portion of the flour. On 8th October, his business ground to a halt ye zalzale mein tabah hua the kaam ruk gaya 8 mahine wo musalsal band hua tha wo bilkul malbe mein khatam hua the quake had destroyed the channel that brought water to his mill with a wife and five children to support rustam khan was in dire straits until a usa program came to the area so children ne ye hamare sath ye taawan kiya ye malba uta kar ye बनाया और मजदूरी मुझे भी दिया और कारोबार भी शुरू हुआ अभी ये काम शुरू हो रहा है द प्रोजेक्ट एम्प्लॉयड सेवरल मैन एंड नॉट ओनली रिस्टोर्ड रुस्तम सोर्स ऑफ इनकम बट ब्रॉट लाइट इनटू 70 होम्स बाय रिपेयरिंग द वाटर जनरेटर डाउनस्ट्रीम सेवरल अदर प्रोग्राम्स आर हेल्पिंग द विलेजर्स गेट बैक ऑन देयर ओन फीट In Shinkyari, it's market day with a difference. Men and women from nearby villages have each been given a booklet of vouchers worth three thousand rupees or fifty dollars. These can be used to purchase items such as livestock, seeds, sewing machines, and water tanks. कुछ ड्राम पानी के लिए खरीद रहे हैं क्योंकि पानी तो नहीं आ रहा तो वो दूर दराज से लाना पड़ता है उसकी वजह से वो लाकर ड्रमों में डालते हैं 
ये काफी अच्छी स्कीम है हमें बहुत सी सुलते हुई है काफी सुलते हुई है द वाउचर प्रोग्राम ऑल्सो लीव द शॉप कीपर्स हैप्पी अगर ये स्कीम बर रास्त बाहर से मार्केट से ये सामान खरीद करके लोगों को दे देते हैं यहां के लोग जो हैं यहां के जो ताजर हैं ये बेचारे इनको इतना फायदा ना पहुंचता इन बाग डिस्ट्रिक्ट a usaid partner ngo distributes livestock among vulnerable people most of them women the recipients have already been given training in livestock care and rearing the women are also given garden tools specially modified so they are lighter and easier for them to use nasira bibi works with them in a little vegetable patch the usaid program taught her to grow off season vegetables such as garlic spinach and chilies unhone bataya tenu di ta un sabzi ho gayi hai taiyar hai sabzi sari hum khud bhi khate hain logo ko bhi dete hain jehra koi mangta hai wo apne paise dega wo le jata hai to hamara waqt hi pass ho jata hai to unka bhi ho jata hai for nasira and her family the extra cash is very welcome bartan toot ke manjiyan toot gayi hain plung toot gaye hain koi cheez nahi rahi to beta koi aaya nahi tha betiyan do Mia the Nabine she also received a goat which to her good fortune happens to be pregnant pehle hans khareede the na 15 rupaye ka doodh roz ka ta unhe ag bakri ho gayi na mari ta baj jayenge na wo 15 rupaye mujhe ghar baj jayenge na one year down the line the focus is on reconstruction us funding will help rebuild schools and hospitals improve healthcare and education and develop the area's economy Building back better is the aim. Construction workers are being trained in safe building practices based on a curriculum designed by a USAID partner NGO. We want people to make their homes integrated together to act during an earthquake is like a box. Buildings of our region seriously lacks integrity between different structural elements. These men will go on to train others. thus increasing the pool of skilled labor available in the area pehle kachi marte hain hum tameer kiya karte the us hamare paas ilm nahi tha tajruba nahi tha to ab hamare paas ilm ka izafa hua hai agar aainda zalzala ho bhi jaye to kam se kam hame kuch mauka bachne ke liye bhagne ke liye mil jayega vocational training workshops enhance the skills of electricians plumbers welders and carpenters in the earthquake prone region In Bagh district over 700 carpenters have been trained by USAID One of them is Ayaz Like the others he too was given a set of power tools at the end of his training Tool ke sath jo hamara pehle kaam hota tha jo hum 3 4 din mein ek darwaza lagaya karte the wo ab ek din mein hona shuru ho gaya hamare 2 3 din mein bachna shuru ho gaye He is applying his newly acquired skills not only to outside jobs but also to building his new house the pehle jo hamare joints vagera the jaise ye laga hua hai ye idhar aa gaya ye idhar aa gaya wo udhar chala gaya fir isi tarah side pe laga pehle hum sab ek ek side pe laga dete the close by is the rubble of his old home his family was outside at the time of the quake and he realizes how lucky they were to jab mukon ke upar pahuncha to mukon gira hua tha to choti behan thi maine usse poocha ke यहाँ अंदर कौन कौन है उसने कहा तुम्हारे दोनों जो छोटे बच्चे हैं वो अंदर चले गए हैं थोड़ी देर में नीचे से वाइफ ने कहा कि नहीं वो नीचे गए हुए हैं अंदर नहीं है फॉलोइंग दर ट्रेनिंग अयाज एंड द अदर्स व गिवन अ टास्क ईच ऑफ देम हैड टू बिल्ड शेल्टर्स फॉर वलरेबल फैमिलीज इन द एरिया और दे कन कीप द टूल्स लेटर मैनी ऑफ दीज कार्पेंटर्स व हायर टू बिल्ड टेम्प्ररी क्लास रूम्स फॉर लोकल स्कूल दीज प्रोवाइड द स्टूडेंट्स नॉट ओनली शेल्टर फ्रॉम द एलिमेंट्स but also impart a semblance of normalcy after a traumatic year the road to reconstruction is a long one but it's being built on strong foundations one of the programs that we're now bringing to pakistan is our peer program program for enhanced emergency response that will help the government train the people of pakistan to do medical first responder and collapse structure search and rescue The most important pillar of this reconstruction effort is the Pakistani people themselves. The memory that I'm going to take away from from here more strongly than anything else is how fantastic the Pakistani people have been. Most of the work in the relief effort and most of the work in the reconstruction is done by the people themselves. The inherent ability of the Pakistanis to put their feet down, stand up and say right, 
now we're going to move on. I mean, this is incredible. 8th October 2006. It's the opening ceremony of the Dadar Boys School. Adil and his friends are on hand to applaud and cheer. They could scarcely have imagined the country's Prime Minister and the US Ambassador visiting their sleepy mountain village. But for Adil, the highlight of the day comes with the departure of the guests. I have to become a pilot because here in the helicopter and we have a big fun when we the helicopter. That's why we have to become a helicopter pilot. With assistance from countries like the United States, Adil and countless others can face adversity with fortitude and lead productive lives again. A better future lies within their reach.